Okay, well, Minnie's um, changing her shoes from sandals. Okay, you're gonna wear sandals now? No, I'm getting out of the car so I can get a pair of socks. Why don't you just wear your sandals? All right, so anyway, um, we are actually back in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and we're headed over to Homes Direct, which is an outlet of modular and manufactured homes. Now, we visited this place once before, and we looked at everything from single wides to triple wides, but um, for the operation that we're gonna be having in Moab, Utah, we're thinking about going with a single wide unit as our living quarters and when we go over here we also found out that the one that we liked with the mono slope roof they call it the mono slop it's actually uh mono slope not slop um <laughs> it's actually uh 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 shed roof style where there's just one side on it you can get that on all the models um at an extra cost yeah, well, we want the outside to look like that because 3, it's, it's more our... Commercial look. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we want the single slope because it's more of a commercial look, which will match our shop. Let me get something straight here, okay? If you're looking for a house that is uh, a manufactured house, that's what you want to look for, manufactured, okay? There's two types that you can get. You can get a manufactured or you can get... Actually, there's three types. There's manufactured modular and then park model now the park model is what everybody is um, familiar with when you hear the word mobile home park all right those are the ones that sit up off the ground and they, they usually the have they got the axles under and they usually have cinder blocks uh, and you can get under them you got to put skirting around them okay a modular and a manufactured home are built uh, similar, similarly the same, but when you say modular, you're talking IRC code, which is uh, the house is coded and built to the same standards as a uh, permanent stick, -built, stick -built, house. built house. And the manufactured home is a home that doesn't require all the IRC coding, but you can upgrade the manufactured home with upgrades that will equal the IRC home or stick built or home. stick build home and save a lot of money doing that today the only thing that we're going to be looking at today is the park models no we're not looking at park models the only thing that we're going to be looking at today there's so many different names for these things uh, the ones that we're going to be looking at today and concentrating on in this video is the manufactured, uh, the manufactured single wides and part and uh porch models so let's get over there let's check them out and see what they got So here we are over at Homes Direct. How you doing? I'm good. Okay. I'm and we are now looking at the porch model. So we're going to go in and take a look at it. Let's go ahead and take a look at the outside of it first and show you uh, exactly what it looks like. So if you look right here, this is the porch model. The reason they're calling it the porch model has got the front porch on the end of it. And then you walk in to the unit itself. Um, I want to look at the windows here. You can see how high quality Homes Direct is. Very, very nice siding. Everything is sealed tight. You can see that right there. That's something that you want to look at. Um, this is actually masonite board. This is not plastic or fiberglass. 
Um, you got your windows with your double pane. Very, very nice. And then you got your, these windows on the top there, which are going to give us more light. The porch itself is approximately, I would say, 8 feet by 12 feet or 15 feet, however wide the home is. Um, I noticed that the board that's used on this is not board. It's that pressed plastic uh, recycled stuff that will last many, many years. So you don't have to worry about that rotting out. The paint looks like it's very, very thick and everything looks built really, really strong. Let's go inside and see what we got. And the ceilings in this home are um, eight and a half ceilings. They are not nine foot ceilings, but it does have the molding all the way around, the corner molding throughout the house. It's got the, uh, uh, what do they call these lights in the ceiling? Can. It's got can lights throughout the house. Um, does it have electricity? No, the electricity is not on. So you can basically see how big the porch model is just by walking into it. It's got a little small living area right here. You walk around here and it's got a kitchen slash dining area all in one. The cabinets are very, very well built. You can see that. Um, I don't know about the Formica tops, but for what we're going to use it for, that would probably work just fine. And everything that you do to these things is upgradable. So the model that we're going to probably look at is going to possibly be like this. Just nice and inexpensive. No frills, no bells, no whistles, no nothing. Um, I mean, look how bright it is when the sun comes in. A lot of window space. Now here's something that I really um, think is very, very important when buying something like this. Uh, this home comes with stainless steel sink, okay? A lot of these manufactured homes, they're going to put a plastic sink in there. Uh, you want to watch that. Another thing is, once again, we got a window right next to the sink. I think that's very, very important too. Mm -hmm. This home's actually got a lot of windows in it. And it's got a lot of space. In yeah, look at all the space it's got. It is. You never have to turn on a light Jeez. in the daytime. So what do we got in here? Is this a closet? Or? No, that's a big bathroom. So this is the bathroom. Wow. A, it's a really good big size. Huh. Good size. It's a really nice bathroom. Look at this. It's even got nine foot ceilings inside it. Uh, you got the shower slash bathtub. All right. And the walls are fiberglass. It's a one piece bathtub, fiberglass slash walls all in one. You got a nice tall shower head that's approximately seven feet up. So that gives you a lot of room if you're a big tall guy like me. It also has a washer and dryer hookup, which will make it really nice, you know, if you are on vacation for a yeah. week or It looks like it's weeks. a stackable. Yeah, definitely a stackable. stackable unit. And then if we walk into the bedroom, you can see the bedroom really isn't that big, but for a, uh, you know, Weekend one retreat. person, two person, uh, people type situation, it's actually a good size room. Um, what size bed would you call that? Is that a queen? Uh, it looks like a queen to me. Queen bed. All right, you can probably put a king bed in here, but you probably have to eliminate one of the tables. And we can watch Minnie walk in and she'll kind of show you how big the oh, place yeah. is. There's plenty of room. Yeah. Lots of room. A lot of room and now. It, and it has a pretty good size closet too. Uh-huh. That yeah, looks like a semi walk-in closet. Huh. And uh, your hot water heater access, I'm pretty sure, is behind this panel here. Yeah. Now, that's one thing I didn't like, is that they have the hot water heater behind that wall, and if you ever have to change it out, it's real a pain in the ass. All right, so what's the bottom line on this thing? We're definitely 620 square feet. What's our price? Base package price, 53900 All right, what's this here? What does this one include? Because we got two different prices here. Oh, this is the eight foot ceiling. Mm -hmm. So if you get the eight foot ceiling, it's 42.3. If you upgrade it to the nine foot ceiling, 53.9. So you're looking at $10,000 difference, all right, from uh, uh, several upgrades that are listed on this right here. So if you want the porch and the nine foot ceilings, that's what you're looking at right there. All right, I know we're here for single wides, but look what we got behind us. It looks pretty interesting. That thing, I don't know if that's a triple wide, a uh, double wide. 
And it looks like pretty awesome because look at that big porch it's got on it. I know. Let's go check that thing I like, out. I like it. I know we're here. I know we're here just for uh, you know single wides and 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 porch models, but you know I want to check this thing out and see what's I going know. on. The only thing that's weird is where do you, your front. It's got this big huge porch on the front, uh -huh. but you can't get you can't get up 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 here. Well, except on the side entrance. That's, that's okay. Weird. Look at this. Hold on a minute. Look what I'm looking at here. Um, this railing isn't made out of wood. It's plastic. It's vinyl. It's vinyl plastic. Now this is one thing I do like about their decking. This is not wood. This is that pressed particle. Concrete board. Yeah, it's a concrete board or plastic or something. Man, this is awesome. I like this model. If I was going to get a double wide, uh, I hate to tell you, this is probably the one we'd get. This is pretty nice. It's kind of open living. Well, I like the porch in the front like that. That's pretty cool. It's just a straight hall. Yeah, that's true. It's a straight down hall. Nice. It's got a small kitchen in it. I'm not really satisfied with the kitchen itself. But, you know, before we go any further, I want to show you something. Can we look at something real quick? Come on over here. I want to show you this. Look at the price on this thing. This is actually really cheap. I mean, you're talking $80,000 with the eight, you add the eight foot porch and the rails. Um, you got the eyebrow at hitch end with, okay, whatever, but $80,000 for this model, that's actually really cheap. Um, base model without the porch is $69.9, so you're only paying about $10,000. That's a pretty, pretty good price yeah, for this model it is. with it the is. front porch on it. It is. It's about uh, 1,350 square foot, including It's 13 porch. square feet. Is that that's how much? So as I'm looking at the homes direct, uh, this is something I really, really like right here. I liked the round corner sheetrock. I think that really, really gives it that high end look. And one more thing I want you to pay attention to is, is um, look at the walls. They're all sheetrocked. Look at the way, come in here and then turn around and look at the way this door is set in here. Okay, let me come inside, bam. What now are we looking at? Turn around at? and look at the way the door is inset. Oh wow. Huh. So it's recessed into the wall. Yeah. Uh, that's pretty neat. Yeah, oh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty neat. Um, once again, Homes Direct, a lot of windows. You gotta love the windows. There's one thing that you really gotta be skeptical about um, when it comes to mo modular mobile what's, homes what's that? is the fixtures inside the I mean, you, they do use some of the most cheapest and expensive. Sometimes. And when I'm saying fixtures, I'm talking about uh, light, fixtures, light fixtures, ceiling fans, fans um, like canned lighting, and all that. Yeah. It's usually the cheapest stuff yeah. on the market. Uh, this is pretty cool how they did this. They turned the uh, second bedroom. I guess this is a two-bedroom model. Am I right? That's what I'm looking at. So they turned this uh, second bedroom into an office, and that was actually a good idea. Another thing I like about this model, look at the ceilings, Manny. Yeah, all right. Slope. They're sloped ceilings instead of <laughs> nine foot all the way through. That actually gives it uh, depth and character. Um, I'm really satisfied with the sheetrock walls all the way around. So this is a sloped roof home, and it does kind of give you the feeling of a mo mobile home, but on the other hand, it gives you the feeling of an open living home. Yeah. Here's the plastic thing that my friend Pete was telling you about. Okay. Um, Actually, that is a fiberglass sink. That's not like Palm Harbor, Manny. That's a, step up now. That's a solid fiberglass sink. Huh. Now, I would go with that sink right there being fiberglass, but those plastic ones that we saw over at Palm Harbor, forget it. Yeah. Let's get over to them single whites. Yeah, let's go check it out. All right. Um, it looks like they only got three single wide units on the property. Um, I see those ones there. That's the single slope. They call them mono slopes. And I think that's the one we've been in before. I don't remember. Uh, yes. That looks like a different setup. I don't remember going in the end like that. So we're going to go check that one out, definitely. Let's go in here and check this out. Now, one thing I do want to point out, um, the single wides have the same durability and same craftsmanship as the doubles and triples. And they are built the same way. This is not a park model mobile home. This is called a manufacturer home. Manufacturer home, remember that. Yeah, this is like exactly like the one we went in that had the single slope roof. Remember? No, it's not. Because look, when you come down here, when you come down here, look. 
Was there one bedroom? Okay. So we walk back into the back here and we also see that it's got a very small bedroom at the end. Um, I believe that these are eight and a half foot ceilings. Yes, I would say that those are, I'm six foot five, so I'm going with possibly nine foot ceilings in this. It seems like it's pretty wide when you're in here. I'm kind of claustrophobic on this bedroom though. This is a guest bedroom. I know, but it's kind of claustrophobic in here. It just looks kind of weird. All right, so this is a two bedroom model, single wide. Three bedroom, I'm sorry, this is a three bedroom model. Um, this bedroom actually looks a little nicer, I guess because the window's on the end wall instead of the head wall. Yeah, I don't feel claustrophobic in this one at all. And this is something that I like about these, the, the new modern style single watches. They're starting to put windows up in the top of these where it really, really brings a lot of light in. That's very important to me. Um, are these double, yes, they are double pane insulated. Um, what is the insulation on these? These are energy ratings for, it's a U-Factor 32, uh, solar gas 32, so is that a high, uh, can somebody go ahead and comment on that and tell me if that's a good window or a bad window that we're looking at right here. Now I would like to say the living room is very, very cozy looking in here and you got windows on both sides up high back here and over on this side. Um, the size of this living room, we already know that's going to be 14, 8 wide. It looks like it might be a square, 14 by 14, 15 by 15. So it's a pretty cozy little operation. What is this, 15 by 15 here? Looks like it's a square, so it's probably, how big is that? Okay, it's 13.5 by 14.8. Huh. A lot of space in here. I don't like this one. You don't like it? Why not? I just, I just don't like the layout. I like the uh, kitchen. Look this at all the space. Yeah. Um, this is the second one we've been in that's had this kitchen layout, so this must be their standard issue type kitchen layout. Look how tall the cabinets are. Can you open that cabinet and see if you can reach the top shelf? That's, okay. Go ahead and reach up there. All right, yeah. These are very, very tall cabinets. Um, I actually like them. Here's another thing I like about the cabinets. I like this set, this section here, the center section that's got glass in it. That makes it look kind of like country living. Yeah, I do like yeah. the glass. So the cabinetry in this, I mean, you got more than enough. Oh, yeah. And then yeah, look yeah. what we got here. We got three ceiling lights in it, not just one. So that's cool. And then, of course, I'm sure the master bedroom's all way over on the other side here. And that's your standard issue. 148105. Yeah. Huh. And I don't really like this bathroom because I will never use that tub. So that's wasted space. <laughs> but then once again, if you don't want something, they can always modify it. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. <laughs> and okay. I don't like the fact that the you have to go through the bathroom to get into the closet. Okay, well how are they gonna do it any different? You they know? have its own door. Like that other okay. one we looked at. Uh, uh, and, and you always want the bath, the toilets be oh, enclosed. enclosed. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. So this is nice. I mean, the quality of it's nice. But not for It's you. just not the layout. Let's go see what the bottom line is on this one and get down the road. Okay. Look what we're looking at here. Bottom line, 62.8. That includes the nine foot ceilings. If you don't want the 9 foot and you want to go with 8 foot ceilings, 57 nines. So 62,000 is getting you this model and this is a manufactured home. This is not a park model home. Okay, now I don't know if I'm just looking at something here or if this is an illusion, but this one here is a lot shorter than the one behind us there. Well, it's a lot shorter than the one we were just in. It is a lot shorter. This one was 70, wow. 76 foot long. God. This is a lot shorter. Let's go on this one and see what this is. This might only be a one bedroom job. Maybe. Now this is our single slope. Uh, I don't think we were ever in this one. So this is a new new venture to us. Let's go in this one and see what we got. This is a retro model. What do you mean retro? Retro. What does that mean? It looks like a trailer house. Oh, wow. Looky here. That must be your 
guest yes. bath bedroom, I mean. Yeah, this isn't finished. They're not finished putting it all together. Yeah, they're not finished putting this together, but look what you got here. You got this open area, um, and that's actually a shelving up there. But, uh, and then you got the closet. Is that a sliding door closet, I guess? Huh. Yeah. Okay, let's see how wide this Let's see how wide the trailer house is. Go ahead. Minnie the carpenter girl, measure it out. Where's that quilt? Keep that quilt. Okay, what are we looking at? The inside diameter of this house is... 14.5, barely. Okay, and that one over there was the same width. 14.8. Oh, it was three inches bigger. So out of the bedroom we go, which is on the end, what do we got going here? This is a big open living situation. Uh, this is basically like a park, I mean a porch model. Huh. Yeah, yeah. Now I do like this action here where you got the bathroom that walks through. It's just a one bathroom then. Let's go see what the bottom line on this one is because I'm actually liking this better than the porch model. Yeah, so we know it's 14.4. Yeah, what's the... Okay, what do we got? Many of the carpenter girl gonna measure it out for us. Ten. Okay, so six. ten by fourteen, basically. Yeah. Oh wow! Look at that. This is almost. Is this the same price as that porch model? We got forty-seven nine. If you want the mono slope and the nine nine foot ceilings, bringing it up to fifty-three seven. And look how much bigger it is. Than and look how much bigger that is. Wow. We need to make sure we get the outside. All right, so um, do you see the excitement that you get when you're looking at these? Um, you look at one unit one day and you know, wow, I love that thing. And then you come back and you look at another unit that they just came up with and you tell yourself, man, that's the one for me. So, you know, doing this type of shopping, it really gets you excited and really gets your wheels turning when it comes to looking for your brand new home. We've been in this already, but let's go in there again and check it out. Yeah, this is this the one we're in. Oh my God, look at it. Yeah, this is, is the one. Beautiful? Yeah, see, this is what's better here. Um, it's it's almost identical to the three bedroom we went in, but like you said, they cut that bedroom off and they so make the living space bigger. The space you got. So it's basically the same thing, except it's a two bedroom instead of a three. Yeah, now look at this bedroom. This is a good sized bedroom. It looks like the bedroom in here is a little bigger, unless it just looks different because they don't have the bed up against yeah. the window. Let's go in here so I can get a width. Width, and then we'll see okay, how. let's get a width of this and see what we got. So you see the difference between the two bedroom versus the three bedroom. What they did is they added a bedroom onto that end, bringing it this way, this making is, this living area smaller. Is our width. Why are you going to measure the whole thing, Daddy? The measurements on the. Okay. Just because I want to. Okay, what is that, a 10 footer? 10 2. Okay, so 14 by 10. That's about the same as the other one. That is a good Wasn't it? Yeah, this is a nice size bedroom. I like this bathroom too, so, um, I mean, look at how big the bathroom is. Uh huh, and look, it's got, it's the, got extra, the light. And the extra storage. Oh, yeah, it's got this. The other one didn't have this. Extra storage, because yeah. you always need extra room for the towels. The sheets and the towels. Just all kinds of stuff. Yeah. So here's your uh, kitchen, and this is the basic same setup as the other one. Um, I kind of like. The wall here, I think, is wider, and you just get a little. I don't think it is. I don't think. It is. You think this wall is wider than the other one? And that oh. one we just went in, yeah, definitely. Didn't the other one go in? It was open right there where you can see into the kitchen? A little more. Yeah, it, no. it only went out to about here. Okay, go ahead and measure that. We're on a time schedule here, no, Minnie. Not. Okay. How much do you think we're on a time schedule? Well, we got stuff to do we today. We don't have to be anywhere until Tuesday. Okay, but we got a lot to do. How much? 17 and That's a half. lot bigger than the other one. So by eliminating that bedroom, if it's just two people living in there, this is all you need. I love this. I love this unit. This is the unit for us right here. I don't know if I like the cabinets, so I like the lighter color cabinets. Oh, yeah. And then once again, on the sink itself, um, if we were going with this sink here, being a fiberglass, I wouldn't even mind having that sink. And I love the 
fact that there's a window right under the sink. To me, that's okay, very all the windows. Look at all this. It's awesome. Now, let's check out the bedroom. It looks like it's the exact same size as the one that was the other one was in. It's exactly identically the same. There's no sense even measuring it. Oh, this is bigger. No, it's not. It I'll bet it's not. Not any bigger. And look at the bathroom. The bathroom's exactly now, the same. I don't like the bathroom. The bathroom. But we can change that. We'll have to remodel the bathroom. Yeah. I like the shower. I do like this shower. This shower looks different than the other one. The only thing I don't like about this, I don't like this shower in that look. Oh yeah, it is kind of low. That's kind of that's kind of idiotic. Do that again. Yeah. See, I'm. Wow. So if you're hitting your head, I'm really hitting mine. Yeah. Now we'll have to get rid of that. Possibly, if we can, move the toilet over here, box maybe box it in, yeah. and maybe put another little counter or something and that's right here. the great thing about these houses, they'll build them the way you want. Now, what are you thinking about Homes Direct? I like them. I Versus like Karsten. Palm Harbor. Karsten is the way to go. Uh, Karsten's the way to Karsten go. Karsten is the brand, and believe me, we have checked out the brands. It's time for the bottom line. Let's see. The price. Let's see what we got. What's the bottom line? And wah, 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 bam, there it is. So for everything that we're looking in this unit right here, 66.7. And the size of this is a 15.6 by 76. That's 1178 square feet. So that concludes our tour of the single wide Karsten homes. Now, I'm sure that they have more models than what we looked at. But uh, what we're interested in, I believe that the two models that you're looking at behind me are going to really, really do us good and I do like the uh, situation where we can match the um, single slopes together one for a rental unit and then another one for our living quarters but then on the other hand I actually like this unit here just for the fact that I could sit out on the porch on a nice cool evening summer breeze hitting me in the face looking at the LaSalle mountains and thanking God that we live where we're going to be living.